I may not have been able to buy this on screen and review it yesterday, but I have it now, so better late than never. Uh, we got the homie Shaquille O'Neal finally here in Fortnite. I know content creators got him early, but I'm not one of them. We got the Super Shaq. I'm going to show it off right, all right here. Super Shaq, who can have the hood down and up, hat off and on, the glasses off and on, and now you can see his bald face. Now I'm playing now. But, um, yeah, but this guy right here, the Super Shaq, is actually very, very customizable. Uh, I don't think, yeah, you can't have too much of the black on black on him. Uh, so yeah, that's something you gotta keep in mind, by the way. Yeah, I can't have the black on black, all that stuff. Uh, then we got, uh, I'll show off the Lego later. Um, but um, then we got the Shaq DJ Diesel. Festival headliner right here. Hat off, no heads. Alright, there you go, you got the headsets off. You can also have the glasses off right here. You can have the reactivity on and off, which I believe it should be reactive to emotes. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, this guy, yeah, just making sure that the other one wasn't reactive. This guy's reacted to emotes. The Super Shack Shield. Oh, uh, I have been seeing that, like, um, uh, this can track kills, but that little timer that you just saw right there, I'm not sure what it's tracking. I don't think it even tracks, like, the storm timer and all that stuff. And then the Shaq's DJ Dex, which, uh, also is, a uh, reactive and, uh, and it can, like, it's also reacted to, uh, emotes. The Shaq Attackers. I was actually using these earlier today. Um, and these things are actually really, really cool. I really like these. The Axlifier. Um, use this. The ones and twos. That's all you're getting, by the way. Then the Shack Shimmy. And then the, sh the oh hold on, whoa, there we go. The Shack Sleeves Wrap, which should be reacted to the time of day. Um, if it's if it's a uh, like a uh, daytime, like it'll like just have like the uh, it'll just look all black and all that. But if it's nighttime, it should look like the how you're seeing on screen. Let me actually uh, turn off copyright music really quick because, well, I don't. I, I do want to show off the emote a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, uh, the, this entire bundle, this is all you can get. All of this for th for oh, oh, not, not not that price right there for three thousand four hundred V bucks. Expensive, but you can buy some of this stuff separately. The uh, pick these pickaxes, the Shack attackers, you have to buy the Super Shack skin to be able to get it. But yeah, it is very expensive though. For the gameplay, I'm using the needle dropper. Because my dude is a DJ. Ones and twos. Dude is right there. And yeah, when they, yeah, of course that is like yeah, I'm just gonna be using this for the gameplay. If y'all are gonna buy any of this stuff though, be sure to use code RAGEQUICKGOD. Just to get this out of the way, here's the wrap in the daytime right here. That's what it looks like I'm going into daytime, and then when you change it to night, it is then glowing. Alright, look at it on a larger scale right here. The wrap looks pretty okay, the, di the, the design is still there of course even when it's daytime, just not as visible I would say. But that is okay though. Now the pickaxe though, I'm really interested in. Hold on. It's got feedback, you hear that? It looks really good, the trail. The impact's good, and it sounds good. I actually really like this. It's kind of big, but uh, I think you can kind of look past it, of course. Now, uh, now, let me just glide with this guy. Now, this guy, of course, is like was like an NBA player, but I believe he does uh, do DJing on his own time and all that stuff. I don't know what his DJ name is, but uh, but uh, I know like him. Uh, people like him, of course. And now uh, the, the emote ones and twos. A little holographic looking uh, uh, little thing right there. Has his name right there, Shaq. Now this guy isn't reacting because I have that copyright music off, but uh, this guy is supposed to be like, um, uh, yeah, it's like this. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, this one isn't copyrighted. I actually will uh, turn off the uh, music for you, or I'll turn off the copyright for you real quick. And that's how you're getting. Also, yeah, yeah, you know, once you stop emoting, the reactivity goes away. I know other people like Pizzo had a problem where he was just like infinitely like uh, kind of reactive like that, but uh, no, it's only supposed to be for the emotes. Which, uh, hold on, is, is, it, is it reactive for stuff like this? Oh, it kind of did react to it. That was a little bit funny. <laughs> no back bling, no hat on, and he only has the headphones. That's what he's got going on right there. Um, then I'll change to the edge cell and take off everything else on him, like the, uh, the shades and his headphones right there. Then you notice that little lightning bolt on his shirt on the back because of the back bling, which, uh, yeah, I didn't know that was there. Um... Out of all of the, I, 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 although I haven't used it yet, I think I like the other shack so far, but which, uh, I can't really wait to use. <laughs> he actually And even that's, even the, the, uh, lightning bolt gets highlighted on there. That's actually kind of cool. This is the second edit style, and then every now and everything is off of him. He has no glasses on him, no hat, of course, if you couldn't tell. I know, it's very, it's very obvious that, uh, it's, it's actually not, it's not very obvious that he doesn't have very much hair on his head. Now I'm playing now. Um, I, I will say that, like, um... I will say, like, it is kind of shocking, like, I'm a... My dude Shaq does feel kind of weird because he's supposed to be big and tall, and yet they kind of nerfed him down. I'm pretty sure Mr. Incredible is bigger than this guy. But I still like him, of course. Although the Super Shaq does have multiple edits, more in details, uh, or at least show off in the gameplay, it's just the hood down, hat off, and glasses off. These edit styles I'm not going to really be messing with very much. Um, and then with the, um, the pickaxe, I'm just gonna be using the, uh, normal yellow ones right here to match with this edit style right here. But anyways, the Super Shack, he actually is really cool looking. And my, probably my favorite out of the two and all that. Also, the back wing right there, you probably just saw, it has a little countdown timer. I still do not know what that is. Um, I've seen other people, like, I'm thinking, like, um... Maybe it's the timer for the storm, but I recently saw a video from Taper Hill where it's not even the timer for the storm or anything like that. This thing, kind of, like, the only thing this thing is accurately doing is just tracking kills, but that timer, not really sure what it is. If anybody in the, in the comments knows what it's technically supposed to be, please feel free to let me know. But yeah, um, this guy is, shouldn't be reactive to emotes. I love the sh the, uh, the shack shimmy. It actually is really nice. We all know the memes. All right, but now the pickaxes though is the most is the one that, that this is the one my favorite part. Do you hear that? It's like charging up. That trail is actually pretty good. That three kills from the other times I killed my bot. I pay attention to the back bling. Four kills right there. Um, something I actually do want to get into for this guy. I actually like. I'll, I'll say this whenever I'm showing him off in the locker, or probably a little bit later. An interesting thing about this set right here. So, um, so this guy has the pickaxes that are like fists and all that stuff. Um, when it comes to collabs, the last time we seen something like this was with the Hulk Smashers pickaxe. But when it, but, uh, for Fortnite Originals, we see them every here and there and all that. I think the last one being Catalina. Um, I thought maybe there was like a legal reason as to why Epic couldn't, can give us these fist pickaxes for other collabs. Like, for example, uh, Arcane Vi or Adonis Creed. And yet, here it is. Now we have it. So, uh, I am curious about, like, well, why couldn't we have these fist pickaxes for, like, um, for Arcane Vi, like, you know, the gauntlets or, uh, boxing gloves for Adonis Creed? Just an idea, Epic. Come on. But yeah, this guy, my dude, uh, Shaq, skin is clean. <laughs> Small little detail I wanted to point out about Shaq, by the way. If you do the shimmy wiggle only as him, pay attention to his face. He kind of puckers his lips right there, right? 
This goes for both the Shaq skins, but if you do this as anyone else that isn't Shaq, they don't pucker. They don't pucker their lips at all. They'll they'll just like a smile right there. That's kind of what they do. Just a small little detail. Here's my dude Shaq in Lego. Uh, like <laughs> my dude's like yeah, my dude does have of course doesn't have a hair piece. He's bald. Not sure why this guy couldn't have a hat though, but I'm not judging, of course. I do like the detail that they put on skins when it comes to Lego. Then we got the Super Shack, which of course isn't super customizable. Sad, but it's okay. Anyway, so an interesting thing about the emotes, uh, Shimmy with the uh, Shack Shimmy, you can use this on any. You can use this on anybody in Lego. You can't use the emote ones and twos. I don't know if there's like a legal reason why it can't be. I just thought it was interesting. I don't think this guy's lips do anything different and all that stuff in Lego. That's that's what it looks like because they can't really pucker and all that. <laughs> now, if I do this as any other skin that isn't him, it'll probably like uh, still look the same. So, want to make sure. Yep. <laughs> it does look kind of funny if you ask me, though. But yeah, that's pretty much it, though. If y'all are planning on buying any of this stuff, though, be sure to use code RAGEWITGUIDE, and I'll see y'all around.